So, listen, why don't you all come in, sit down, sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I will. Thank you. <laughs> now, Tori, are you ready to sing the opening number in this year's Platinum Music Awards? Well, sure, I mean, but I'm also pretty nervous. Have some bibble. What? What's bibble? It's a British snack. You've never had bibble? Oh, that's a bloody crime. I don't understand it. <laughs> well, have some bibble now. There's some bibble, and there, and there, and there. Right, I'll have a taste. Uh-huh. Mmm. I like it. Tell you what, Marshall, why don't you take them all down to Barney's Bibblery, get each of them a ten-pound sack of bibble? That's a lot. Thank you. No, 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 I... I insist. My treat. Take the limo. Zine? Indeed. Go on, off you go. Go on. Yes, we're going to the limo. Wow, it's very generous. What? Hey. Lori? Come in. What is she wearing? Oh, Tori. Hey, Kat. Cool outfit. Thanks. What you got there? It's my sack of bibble. <laughs> it's really heavy, so I put it in a wagon. Can't believe Mason bought you this much. This isn't even the sack he got me. What? I finished that one. I went back and bought two more sacks. <laughs> I think I might have a bibble problem. Well, it is pretty good stuff. Don't touch it! <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, were we all supposed to dress stupid today? Cat, that is a lot of bibble. Yeah, please don't look at it, it's all for me. Cat, don't be stingy. Just give him a little nibble of the bibble. No! Hi! Ah, Tori, you're early. Good, good. Yeah. Uh, my friend Kat said that she really needs to talk to you. Mr. Thornsmith, you know that store Barney's Bibblery? Mm hmm They won't tell me any more bibble. Why not? They think I might have a problem. Would you mind calling for me? Sure. Later, all right? No, I need more bibble now! <laughs> Now, Kat, Tori and I need to have a little word in private. So why don't you just put on these dark sunglasses and these headphones? But I don't understand. Just listen to this very loud music, dance around a while, and I'll give you some bibble. I don't see what... Oh. Now, Tori, you are doing a magnificent job with the makeup and these outfits. I'm ready for Bibble! <laughs> you really think I need to change who I am and be outrageous for people to like my music? Oh, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> and see, we've already got you looking the part of the outrageous pop star. And now you've got to play the part. I don't... Rebellious. Dangerous. The, the, the sort of wild girl who'd go to a posh restaurant in Beverly Hills, get furious with a server, flip over a table. Grab a plate of ravioli. And then dump that ravioli right down a policeman's pants. <laughs> I'm dancing for Bibble! A policeman's pants? Isn't that illegal? <laughs> Not a real policeman. <laughs> no, 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 a stuntman. But everyone will think it's all real. And... People would think I'm a terrible person. Precisely. That will create buzz. Get everyone talking about you. Well, can, can I at least tell my friends that it's fake? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be a silly person. No one likes a silly. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a silly. Come on now, I'll take you upstairs. Katy Perry's out there cutting her new track. Wow. Ravioli only down his pants? It'll be a nice feeling. <laughs> Hello? Somebody bibble me! Cat, maybe you want to back off that bibble gun. Don't tell me what to do!
Uh, hello? Hey, Kat. Hi. Uh, who's the dude? Oh, this is Oliver. My parents hired him to keep me away from Bibble. So he's your Bibble guard? That's right. I used to have a Bibble problem myself, but now I help others. Can't I just have a little Bibble? No, baby, you can't. Oh, she can have a little bit. Here, Kat. Here's some Bibble to tide you over. <gasps> no Bibble for Kat! No Bibble for Kat. Hi! Hey, cutie. Hey, Kat. Hey, girl. You remember Oliver? Hi, everyone. Kat, where are you? Um, I'm, I'm in the bathtub. La, 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 la. No, you're not in the bathtub. We're backstage at the Boomerang Theater. Kat, you don't have to lie. It's okay if you're with Jade helping her get ready for the show tomorrow night. You sure you're not mad at me? I'm sure. Good. Bring me some bibble. You're my only hope. No bibble. Oliver! Kat, I'm not getting you bibble. Anything else? No. Can I just have one handful? The answer is no. But I just... Can't... What don't you understand? Why can't you just let me smell some bibble? You can't even have a whiff of bibble. It's too sweet. It's too good. Does anyone have any bibble? No. You gotta stop chasing that snack. But it hurts! You can't tell anybody about this. Neither can you. How great is this bibble? It's so great! Okay, you guys just have a seat. Mason will be here in a minute. Um, have you heard of bibble? Sure, the British snack. Cat? Shush up! <laughs> yeah, um, could you point me in the direction of Mason's bibble? I've been told not to give you any bibble. Hmm, maybe you're thinking of someone else. You're Cat Valentine. No! I'm Cat Valentein! Hey, were you at my bat mitzvah? Hmm. Amazing, quick question. No bibble. You didn't know that's what I was gonna ask. Oh, and what's your question? How you been? Francis, come on, get yourself in here. There he is, Robbie Cat. This is my son, Francis. Hello, Francis. Bibble! Cat. How you been? All righty, then. My work here is done. Wait, <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about my music career. Wow. Well, sometimes we think things that never happen. I see you have a bag of bibble. You can't have it. Not even for chocolate covered nuts? Nah, keep your nuts. Francis, is your dad coming back? No, he brought you here so I could buy your little friend. Cat? How much? Robbie. Not the chick, him. <laughs> But, but Rex isn't for sale. I'll give you 2,000 bucks. 2,000? <laughs> what? Hey! So we got a deal or what? No. Think about it, Rob. Two Gs. That'll buy you a lot of body wash. Well, I do use a lot of it. My offer's good for 24 hours. All right, I'll, I'll think about it. Kat, you coming? Wait for me outside. <laughs> I ain't giving you any bibble. Okay, but will you at least breathe in my face? <sighs> uh, yeah, that is bibble breath. Do it again!
Oh, come on, little rat. Tell us about your doohickey. Okay, it's called the Snow Bee. Watch. Oh, he's It makes pretend snow. Ah, see that. It's all over my tostada. And my pizza. Well, do not eat it. Why? Because it says the fake snow is toxic and can cause abdominal bleeding. So what made you buy a machine that poisons people's lunches? This catalog. Sky store? Yeah. I went to visit my uncle and uncle this weekend in San Francisco, and they had these on the plane. It's like filled with all kinds of cool stuff you can buy. <gasps> oh, like this, a tree face. You put it on your tree to give it a face. <laughs> what if you don't have a tree? It also works on bushes. <laughs> Back, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, all right, you caught me, what? I want to show you what I got. Sure. Okay, now walk towards me. Closer. Closer! Step away! You are too close to this person. The police are on their way. I didn't do anything. Uh, would you turn that off? Move back. It's the world's best alarm necklace. Oh, and look! The world's brightest keychain. Yeah, ow. Okay. All right, that's bright. You can turn that off now. Too bright? Oh, I love that. Um, you think maybe you're buying, you know, too many things from Sky Store? <laughs> no. Oh, hey, uh, can I borrow some money for lunch? Uh, yeah, how much? $49.95 plus shipping. Uh, Kat, are you coming? <gasps> oh, my God! Underwear that floats! Um, I got Kat receiving another order from that Sky Store catalog thing. Whoa, uh, isn't that like her fifth delivery this week? Yeah, chick's out of control. No doubt. Oh. No! There were supposed to be two packages. I only got one. It was supposed to get here on... Hey, why are you shooting this? Who are you with? Robberazzi. Oh! Ugh, I am so mad at Robbie. I feel like everyone's staring at my pimple. Everyone is. How do you think I feel? Five people today have asked me about my catch-up addiction. One kid called me Mr. Catch-up. It's all Tori's fault. Really? They were about to kick Robbie off the slap. You were the one who told him to start reporting on our personal lives, then you gave him ideas by letting him shoot video of you playing with your pimple. Give me the salt. Hey, Andre, we thought you might need this. Save some for dinner. <laughs> I do not have a catch-up problem. Andre, Andre, right here. Andre. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Who were they? Robberazzi's. Robbie's little ninth grade photographers. Oh, man, now Robbie's got pics of me with this industrial size catch-up. We got to do something. Clearly. I think we just have to show Robbie that we're not going to be his friends until he stops embarrassing everybody. <laughs> that from the Sky Store? Uh-huh. What is it? It's the world's most powerful portable juicer for juicing on the go. You're so screwed up. No, it's really cool. Look at... <laughs> See? You juiced my pizza. Why chew what you can drink? Do you want me to juice your bagel? I really don't. You know you're supposed to be in your improv class right now. Oh, sorry.
sorry. I just got this new thing from Sky Store. And... Yeah, you know, some teachers and students here think you're buying too many things from Sky Store. I hear you've been borrowing money from people. <laughs> Not anymore. I started using my parents' credit card. Okay, but still. You know what this is? No, and I really don't have time. It's I've the got... ball freshener. Kat, I think we need to talk about this, because. See this filthy, icky tennis ball? Yeah. Look it. Fresh as a daisy. Do you even play tennis? No, but I'm gonna learn with the world's thinnest tennis racket. <gasps> Kat, does a person really need to have a tennis racket that, wow, it's so light? <laughs> Come on, let me have it. Well, maybe I can talk my parents into giving me my credit card back. Cat. It's time to say goodbye to Sky Store. Don't you think that's the best thing to do? <laughs> Look, I know it hurts now, but you'll feel better soon. I know. Want to come hang for a while? Nah, thanks. I just want to sit here. Okay. Bye. Sport. <laughs> hey, Sinjin. Yes? Do you have a girlfriend? No. You have a credit card? Yeah. Why don't you call me sometime? Really? Okay, I'll go buy a phone. Oh my god, a litter box that plays classical music. Hey, Kat. Hey. Hi. What's going on with you? I saw you here early this morning, and Jade says she saw you here last night. Everything is normal. Cat! What are you doing? Oh, my Excuse me, lady. Oh. Guys, Excuse me. you are in the way. Stray sodas. Yes. You're Tory Secret Santa, and that be that. Why do I have to? He said he's not going to change it, so just deal with it. Why don't you just deal with it? Why don't you just deal with it? His heart is vibrating. How much coffee have you drunk? A lot, like a lot. I don't know, like maybe seven cups. A lot. Is there a problem? He's drinking coffee to stay awake at school because of the stupid cricket that's keeping him up every night. A lot of coffee. This is the most gigantic cup of coffee they sell. It's not enough. Look, that cricket's been keeping you awake for over a month Hi! now. Hi! Secret Santa time! You mine or his? Yours, for you. Give it. Hey, guys, um, can I ask you Shut up! I'm opening a Christmas present! Brunch. Oh my god, Kat, you did not. <laughs> scissors. They're special scissors. Okay. They're from a real movie. I cannot believe you got me these. What movie were they used in? The scissoring. Wait, that that one about the girl who comes back from the dead and uses a pair of scissors on her two best friends? Yep. Starting with the pretty girl. Do you have your new scissors with you? No. <sighs> Don't be shy. Oh. Those are my old scissors. Hey, I heard my name. Jade, what are you wearing? Is that? Oh, yeah. This is a copy of the costume that Tawny Walker Black wore in your favorite movie, The Scissoring. Whoa. Uh, look, Moose brought me roses. Did you bring any for Jade? No? OK. So, rehearsal. Uh, we were thinking we should meet it. We were uh, thinking we should meet. 
We... Goodbye. And look, these are the actual scissors from the movie. Oh my God, that is so cool. I gave her those. Yeah, and look how sharp they are. <gasps> flowers hey what you doing cutting up a big trash can you cut up the janitor's entire trash can he's got another one Jade listen I read your play and I think it's really good I'm not your friend Anyway, if the school won't let me do my play, then who cares if it's good? Why don't you just produce your play yourself? You know how much money that would cost? No. Did she cut up that whole trash can with just a pair of scissors? How much do you think it'd really cost to produce your play? I don't know, two, three grand. OK, well, then it shouldn't be that hard to find someone to put up the money. You'd really find me someone to put up the money to produce my play? I meant that, hey! Did she not say? It shouldn't be that hard to find someone to put up the money. So you'll do that, right? Sure. Good. Jade scares you? She scares everybody. I am gonna kill him! Oh. What happened? Sinjin sat on my new scissors. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not gonna calm down! They're bent! They've lost their sins! Yeah! My grandpa has a nose, and my grandma has a nose. Everyone you know has a nose, nose, nose. My grandfather's nose was blown off in the war, so that song is a filthy lie. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a serious musician. I don't know how to write a little kitty song. Why did we say we do this? It'll be fun! Yeah, it's so fun to put on humiliating costumes and dance around like idiots for sticky little three-year-olds. Four-year-olds. And my mom grew those flowers in her garden. They're lovely. 